Hey everybody, this is Derek, and I'm back with another Call of Duty Heroes video for you guys. And this time, we're going to talk about the new update, version 2.2. Okay, now, as you currently can tell from my screen, if you haven't logged on yet, we have a new user interface. And so user interface is now blue. So, um, this is something that is a big deal to me. It is one of the things that I've seen that is the biggest change. Uh, as soon as I log on, this was the first thing I noticed was, wow, it's blue now. And now you can, I, for me, I can actually see the buttons. Uh, I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying when I say that, but it just doesn't blend into the background. So it jumps out at me. I know where everything is, and I really like that. So we're going to get in here. We're going to discuss some of the 2.2 update with you guys. First, they're going to give you guys a gift that's in your inventory. So make sure you guys go in there, open that gift up, see what you guys have in there. Now, we also have a new player cap, so now you can reach the level 110 for those people who have reached the maximum limit already you can now go to 110 now we also have alliance uh an alliance update which now we have a higher cap no longer 25 members we can now go to 30 members so now your alliance can allow five more members you can now allow five more of your friends into your clan um or alliance excuse me uh, they also have new survival well, survival uh, levels added, which isn't a big thing for me because I'm not that high in survival. I think I'm only stopped around like 61 or something like that, so it's no biggie for me, but glad that they're there. So whenever I get past there, I got more stuff to look forward to. Thank you, guys. Um, we also have more helipad drops. We now have a chance to earn unit training and technology time reductions. We also have inventory selling, which to me, I... I didn't really want it. I really didn't care about it because to me, honestly, I use everything in my inventory. There hasn't been nothing in my inventory I looked at it and said, hey, I want to sell that. Um, so, you know, for you for you guys who really wanted to sell your inventory, you guys can now sell your inventory. So, uh, congratulations to you guys who now get to sell your inventory. And it says new UI, UI as I just said, new user interface and main HUD improvements. We also have events Added. So now there are more events that are going to be added. There also have been other miscellaneous optimizations for us. So there it is, update 2.2. I'm going to show you guys a couple of the features, a couple of the changes that I've already seen. So we're going to get into that next. So let's jump straight into that. So one main thing that I did notice too over the UI is also if you go to your communication center and now request, you can now choose what troops you want to request. So no more confusion with our teammates now. There should be no more confusion with our teammates and when i say confusion uh in my alliance say it like this our main thing is to have either uh dragons or other troops which is usually set by our alliance leader now some reason we get people in the alliance who just don't seem to speak english or if you speak spanish in the spanish group you got some guys who probably don't speak spanish to you that's what it's all about whatever language you speak and you play with somebody it seems like they're just don't get it no matter what you put it in so you always tell a person hey i want this trooper that trooper. for some reason you get some jerk off who wants to send you 20 assault troops over what you asked for it's just it's just funny like that okay maybe they're trying to do it for a reason or maybe they're just being a dick who knows so now we should not have that problem so as you see you scroll from left to right and you can choose your unit you can also select your hero what hero you would like to have requested so that is a, another big change along with the UI. We're also going to go up here into the avatars. I'm going to take a look at the avatars with you guys. Um, there have been several new avatars added. And as you see, for us who have been playing Call of Duty um, for a while now, we all know what these are. These are prestige levels, as you remember from old from Call of Duty games. These are prestige levels. These have been added, and of course, they're not unlocked for me because I'm not level 107. <laughs> so the higher you get in levels, the more you get these guys unlocked. And as you see, I haven't made it that high yet, so I have not unlocked any of the new character new uh, character avatars. But as you see, we have some new ones. for So for you guys who are trying to reach that 110, you now have some new avatars to also pick up along the way. Um, let me see, has there been anything else that I have noticed in here? There has honestly been nothing else that I have noticed in the 2.2 update technically for me. Um, only thing I say is the user interface. Um, user interface, we got the new avatars. We also got the request change now. Um, there's 
lots of new lots of new goodies in here for us lots of new goodies for us to work with if i come across anything that i did not notice in here or if you guys notice something that i did not notice um let me know in the comments remember to comment rate and subscribe to subscribe to my video sorry about that i got tongue tied for you guys but it's early in the morning i'm just trying to get this video done for you guys um i believe i went over everything tell me what you guys like about this new update tell me what you don't like about this update tell me if you are still playing call of duty heroes this is derek and i'm out of here and i'll see you guys next video peace